Hi, I'm Ann Steves, owner of Gorgeous Fabrics. One of my favorite fabrics in the world is wool. Woolen fibers come from animals like sheep, llamas, camels, and cashmere goats. Wool is one of the most rewarding fabrics to work with. It sews up beautifully, it wears wonderfully, and it can be used in all manner of garments. From tropical weight wools that will keep you cool in warm climates, to heavy coating that will keep you toasty warm in winter, there's something for everyone with wool. Today, we're talking about woven wools as opposed to woolen knits. Because of the wide variety of woolen fabrics available, let me give you some hints and tricks that will have you sewing with this great fabric in no time. In this video, I'll give you examples of how to work with four different types of woolen fabrics, from the lightest weight to heavy coating. You can apply these guidelines to other wool fabrics. Now it's important to remember that these are guidelines, not gospel. They're techniques that work for me, but you should feel free to play around and get the results that you want. On almost all wools, you can use plain polyester thread like Coates and Clark's, Metrocine, or Guterman. You don't need specialized thread, and you can use a straight stitch on your sewing machine. Tropical weight wool fabrics are among the lightest weight. Many of them are about the same weight and density as cotton. You can see that this fabric is light and drapey, even though it's 100% wool. Tropical weight wools are commonly used for sportswear, separates, and dresses. When working with a lightweight woolen like this, I use a size 60 8 or size 70 10 universal needle. Use a straight stitch with a length of two and a half millimeters. You can also use a serger to sew seams in lightweight wools. If I could work with only one fabric, it would be wool crepe. Wool crepe is a versatile fabric used in everything from business suits to separates and sportswear. It's warm, it's comfortable, and it's forgiving of most mistakes, making it perfect for beginning sewers. To sew this wonderful fabric, Use a universal needle in a size 70 10 and a straight stitch with a length of 2.5 or 3 millimeters. You can also use a serger to sew your seams. Wool gabardine is a twill weave, meaning a weave that runs diagonally. It has what is referred to as a hard finish as opposed to a soft finish like flannel. Gabardine is used in everything from suits to the classic trench coat. It's woven very tightly and it is a tailoring favorite. Gabardine does have a tendency to show pin and needle marks, so always place your pins within the seam allowances before sewing. I use the smallest needle size I can get away with on gabardine. That's usually a size 60 8 or 70 10. And I prefer to use a Microtex needle, which is specifically designed to leave the smallest hole. Set your stitch length to two and a half millimeters and you're ready to go. Ask any sewer and they'll tell you that coats are one of the most rewarding garments to sew. The experience of making a wool, cashmere, or camel hair coat is one that shouldn't be missed. Coating fabrics are thicker than other wools, but they're generally pretty easy to work with and forgiving of mistakes. I treat coatings like other woolens using a straight stitch and polyester thread. Depending on the thickness of the fabric, I use a two and a half or three millimeter stitch length and an 80 slash 12 or 90 slash 14 needle. When sewing seams in wool, set your iron's temperature to the medium setting, which is also known as the wool setting on most irons. Wool loves steam and responds very well to it, so I use lots and lots of it. I press my seams and I leave them for a few seconds to cool before taking them off the ironing board. When pressing wools, especially when pressing gabardine or coating, it's a good idea to use a strip of brown paper between the seam allowance and the outer shell to prevent press through. One of the wonderful characteristics of wool is that it will shrink and expand with steam and heat. This is particularly useful when you're sewing a curved seam like an armhole or a princess seam. Let me show you an example. Here's a sleeve that I set into a seam. You'll notice that it's pretty puckery, both inside and out. Now watch what happens 
when I put it over the ham and apply a little heat and steam. Place the seam over a ham and using light pressure and lots of steam, press that bad boy. Ta-da! I hope that gives you some good ideas on how to work with wool. Wool truly is a gorgeous fabric, and with just a little practice, you can get gorgeous results. For the gorgeous fabrics used in this video and all of your fashion fabric needs, visit gorgeousfabrics.com.